Move my microphone off. Good morning. Welcome to St. Dominic Church. Thank you for joining us for Mass this morning. Our Mass will begin in a few more minutes at 8 o'clock in the morning. Just a reminder that tomorrow, actually today, today this afternoon, we're going to start our Masses across the street at the school under the big canopy. Uh, please call the office uh, to register or do it online on Eventbrite. Tomorrow we will have a Mass at 11 o'clock in the morning in Spanish and 5 o'clock in the afternoon in English. Uh, those two Masses are available to be reserved. Thank you very much.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of Christ our Lord be with you all. Let's call to mind our sins and ask the Lord's forgiveness. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Alphonsus Liguri, bishop and doctor of the church, great uh, moral theologian, and uh, uh, who really uh, took the church in the 19th century into the 20th century by humanizing and getting us back to the bottom line of what it is to love and serve God and our neighbor. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned exceedingly by thought or deed and omission to my fault, to my, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who constantly raise up in your church new examples of virtue, grant that we may follow so closely in the footsteps of the blessed bishop, St. Alphonsus Liguori, in his zeal for souls, as to attain the same rewards that are his in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The priests and prophets said to the princes and to all the people, this man deserves death. He has prophesied against this city. And as you have heard with your own ears, Jeremiah gave this answer to the princes and all the people. It was the Lord who sent me to prophesy against this house and city all that you have heard. Now, therefore, reform your ways and your deeds. Listen to the voice of the Lord your God, so that the Lord will repent of the evil with which he has threatened you. As for me, I am in your hands. Do with me what you think is good and right. But mark well, if you put me to death, it is innocent blood you bring on yourselves, on this city and its citizens. For in truth, it was the Lord who sent me to you to speak all these things for you to hear. Thereupon the princes and all the people said to the priests and the prophets, this man does not deserve death. It is in the name of the Lord our God that he speaks to us. So Ahikam son of Shaphan protected Jeremiah so that he was not handed over to the people to be put to death. The word of the Lord. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Rescue me out of the mire. May I not sink. May I be rescued from my foes and from the watery depths. Let not the floodwaters overwhelm me, nor the abyss swallow me up, nor the pit close its mouth over me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. Lord, in your great love, answer me. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. 
For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bounds, bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Herod the Tetrarch heard of the reputation of Jesus and said to his servants, This man is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Now Herod had arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip. For John had said to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Although he wanted to kill him, Herod feared the people, for they regarded John as a prophet. But at a birthday celebration for Herod, the daughter of Herodias performed a dance before the guests and delighted Herod so much that he swore to her to give her whatever she, asked, she might ask for. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests who were present, he ordered that it be given, and he had John beheaded in the prison. His head was brought in on a platter and, sh and given to the girl, who took it to her mother. His disciples came and took away the corpse and buried him, and they went and told Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Salome was not a very nice little girl. Uh, there's no way to get around it. First of all, the dance she danced was, was probably a, a Middle Eastern love dance and probably pretty indecent. Second of all, the princess of the Tetrarch would not have gotten up and danced in front of a group of strangers. And these are people of different people that she may have never seen in her life. It's a sordid affair. Her mother, Herodias, uh, has uh, insinuated herself in politically and asked for the head of John the Baptist in another conversation we don't hear today. And the girl then adds this thing on a platter, the head of John the Baptist on a platter. She's just prompted by her mother to say, get me the head of John the Baptist, but on a platter. That's a pretty grim image. The mother and the daughter and the father are all three of them nasty, mean people. Really, really, really nasty, mean people. And John the Baptist is really a good man. What is he doing on Macaria, Macarios, the, the, the uh, fortress of where Herod lived with Herodias and Salome? Her name is a form of peace, shalom. That's ironic. Anyway, they, they, they live in this, in this fortress, the Macaris, and uh, all of this is going on. And John the Baptist is rotting in, in this prison. And finally, Herod gets rid of him. It's, it's a sad and sorry detail of the New Testament that people who witness the truth often are not blessed and granted great gifts. We have to sometimes do the good because it is good, not because we get something from it. John got his head knocked off through the intercession of a 14-year-old of a girl, all for a, for a sleazy dance. We mustn't be surprised at times when we are not rewarded for being good. In peace, we pray to the Lord. At this time of COVID virus, we pray for all those who are afflicted with it, for all who are caring for them, especially for those who are doing great things and for absolutely no, uh, no reason but their love of the person they're caring for. We pray to the Lord. 
that we might not seek worldly rewards too much, we pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have died, those who are, have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. We pray to the Lord. And for the intentions of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lead us, Lord, to imitate the constancy of St. Alphonsus Liguri in affirming the divinity of your Son and calling us to faith, hope, and love in this current life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. The Lord, accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to enkindle our hearts with the celestial fire of your spirit, just as you granted that St. Alphonsus Liguri should celebrate these mysteries by them, offer, to him, offer himself to you as a holy sacrifice. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ Jesus our Lord. For on the feast festival of St. Alphonsus Liguri, you bid your church rejoice. So too, he strengthened her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching and teaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending forth the Holy Spirit from, your, from you, Father, like, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and gave you thanks and praise. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. This is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered together into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church throughout the world spread and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy and ministers of your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the kingdom of the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her husband, our Holy Father Dominic, our sister Catherine of Siena, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, St. Alphonsus Liguri, and all the blessed apostles and saints and martyrs who have pleased you throughout the ages. We, merit to be, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, the Lord. Through him, with him, in him, O Lord, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And we pray with confidence to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from all of our fears and our anxieties, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let's offer one another the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let's pray together that act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who gave us St. Alphonsus Liguri to be a faithful steward and preacher of this great mystery, grant that your faithful may receive it often and receiving it praise you without end. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the peace and the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon us all and remain with us forever. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a wonderful week.